Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. I'm sorry it's been so long, but I... I couldn't get away. I know neither of you is around to hear this, but I miss you. I miss watching Dad grade papers on the living room table. I miss the three of us huddled around the radio, listening to the silver shroud. Dad, you were right about what living underground would really be like. 25 years locked in with the same people was a challenge. But watching them pair up, get married, have children, well, I think I got to know a little bit of what you and Mom were always telling me. Well, since I'm doing this whole trip down memory lane, maybe a walk over to the old high school was in order. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, I so couldn't have pulled this place you. off without him. The Elvis Let's here talk. has been so ex It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? I know. Believe me, I know. But we can't focus on what other people could have done. We have to focus on us, our future. I know I owe you a sit-down, but I need to discuss this first. I'll be quick. Once you're on board, we can catch up, and I'll answer any questions you might have. Now, the inoculation. Did you finish it? The bar owner? Wasn't easy hauling them all the way to AVR Medical. And boy, do they love talking. I've got some plans to make this whole thing easier. 
But we need to get you taken care of first. So, did you finish it? The inoculation? Good, because we're gonna need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. I don't know if you've been following the rumors, but there's something in the mountains. No one's managed to get into it yet, but one thing's for certain. It's a vault. I eavesdropped on some of the newcomers, and whatever is inside there has gone from speculative guesses to full-blown fantasy. Stories of untold riches would draw groups of people even before we turn the world into a wasteland. Hope and greed are powerful motivators. I think that's part of what's fueled the wild stories about it. A box you can't open just makes you want to see what's inside even more. But whatever it is, it can wait. We need to make sure the newcomers don't get infected. Judging by the... architecture... The ones to the north are the old Raider Pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the official title. You'd think it'd be burned in my head with how many times I played that for everyone. The reality is a little different, though, isn't it? Prepare for the future. <sighs> Thank you. Really. It's good to have my vault family around again. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just be careful out there. Vault 76 is a family. We'll get through this together. Pretty hypocritical for me, of all people, to take off on my own, huh? Oh. <laughs> At first I was just racing ahead, hoping that if there was any trouble, I'd hit it first. And then there were the nukes, the scorched plague, seeing my old neighborhood bombed to pieces. I, I needed time. Yes, it did. But we have to look to our future. America is our mission now. I grew up here. My parents used to live just down the hill. If there's one neighborhood I'm rebuilding first, it's this one. 
Sometimes, I honestly thought they'd be the last things I'd get to say to everyone. Well, remember, it's not a scavenger hunt. I put them in place to help you on your way, even when I can't be there personally. Stay careful out there. Together we've made Appalachia safer. But she still has fangs. Make yourself right at home! Overseer's personal journal. I was in my junior year when I got the news that Mom died. Mining accident. Everyone in West Virginia has a story like that in Sam. You just... You never think it's gonna be you. Dad was in pieces. I started living in the library more than before. And I was already there most days to begin with. And Evan... Just a few years before. Graduated a year later, went right to work in the mines. So handsome. Oh, and those arms. What West Virginia girl could resist all that? I can't believe he stuck with me. After the funeral, I didn't want anyone around. But there he was, showing up in the library after his shift. When the career fair came, and I met the people from vault -Tec, it was like a light turned on. Protecting families, protecting their future, protecting America. The first thing I did when I got the acceptance letter to vault -Tec University was head over to Mom's grave with Dad. He was happy on the stage. So was I.
intruder. Overseer's personal journal. Four years vaulted. Graduating with honors in the Overseer track. Dad was so proud. Came out. And I was offered the next available Overseer slot. I had just graduated. It was supposed to take years. They knew the war was inevitable. When I learned that 76 was going to be built, I was so excited I jumped right out of my chair and did a little dance around the living room. Appalachia would be safe, no matter what happened. Evan chose that moment to propose, a lughead. He knew I wouldn't say no after hearing the news. He knew me better than anyone. Dad died a few months after Evan and I moved in together. He really wanted to walk me down the aisle. Well, I didn't really get to walk down there either, so... Uh, I think it's time I went home. I owe Evan that much.
on your way to something? I'm on my way back to Foundation. Ever been there? We're always looking for help. Our doors are always open to honest, hard-working folks.
Ward says our walls and turrets will keep the raiders out. I hope he's right. Hey, stop messing around. Well, at least it's nice out. Sandwiches, subs, God, grinders, yes. and hoagies are the same thing at Sunny's. They are all rabbit only. Seems like as soon as we fix one thing in this place, another breaks. Well, uh, this is a little awkward. You're from one of the local vaults, right? Hope you don't mind us settling in your neighborhood, because <laughs> we're already kind of here. And if you want to kick us out, then the answer's no. <laughs> if the walls weren't already kind of a statement to that effect. Here and there, this way and that. You understand what I'm saying. There'll be time for swapping stories when the job here is done. But let's just say we like building things. There's a security to it, you know? Foundation's just the start. Inoculated? This some kind of a scare tactic? You mean those crazies with the torch skin? Those aren't just burn victims? You're saying it's from a disease? Thanks for the warning, but... You know, if I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood, I might say a few things too. I'll tell you what. One of my own is a doctor. Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation camp. Get the lay of things. You talk to him about this. If he's convinced, then I'm convinced too. Deal? Assuming he agrees with you about this disease, then we'll hear you out. Attention citizens, nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. I just need to rest my eyes. <laughs> Afternoon. You should consider this place a fresh start. They took me in years ago and became my family. They could be the same for you. What's up, Buttercup? Mostly, I keep an eye on the area around Foundation. I look for good things to bring back and keep an eye out for anything hazardous. If the super mutants are on the move or a bunch of scorched move into the area, Ward needs to know as soon as possible. Oh, I joined up with them north of here a while back. They seem to be from all over this region. My family used to live in what's now the Capital Wasteland. See you around.
So what's your story, Dweller? The Blood Eagles are a dangerous offshoot of the Raiders. They don't get along with the Crater group. Hey there. The name's Maggie. I'm looking for someone to head into Mananga Mine for me. I'll pay for anything you can find about a man named Earl Williams. He's... he, he was my pops. The mines have been closed up since before the war, but you look like the resourceful type. Think you can lend me a hand? Fair enough. What do you want to know? He and some other townsfolk got some liquid courage one night and decided to go up to the mine. <sighs> I knew that damn bourbon would be the end of him somehow. They kept going on about getting the last of what they could before that Deke Sachs from Hornwright Industrial closed up the mine. Well, that son of a bitch ended up blasting the entrance closed with everyone still inside. You don't think I tried? I clawed at the rubble until my hands bled, and they had to drag me away. They told me that my pops ran off, and said the others left Mananga since there was no more work. I think it was some sort of cover-up. They either got paid off by the Hornwrights to keep quiet, or they didn't want to deal with the expenses of a rescue mission. This was back in January of 76. After Hornwright cleaned out everything that they could from the mine. So, I'm not delusional. I know he's dead. It's been over 20 years, and if the hunger didn't get him, then I'm sure the radiation did. I just... I hope he didn't suffer too much. What are you trying to know? Uh, sure, I guess. Yep, born and raised in that dying mining town. I was glad to leave that shithole. Especially after what happened to my pops. The town was full of idiots and cowards. They let Hornwright Industrial walk all over them. As if some corporation was really trying to help us out. They let the Hornwrights take everything from us. Our jobs, our resources, hell, even our people. Hornwright Industrial came swooping in like they were our saviors, and gave the town a bunch of money for the mining rights. They took away jobs from the miners thanks to their robots, took everything they could from the mine, and then left us high and dry. Some newcomers make me nervous. What are you trying to know? Fair enough. I'll tell you what I can. Well... I'm not sure you'll find much more than some dead bodies, but if you happen to come across anything that belonged to my pops, I'd be grateful if you could bring it back to me. In 1907, that mine had one of the worst mining disasters in history, and then almost two centuries later, more people get trapped and buried in it. So yeah, don't be too spooked if you see a skeleton or two. The world is littered with dead bodies now. Get used to it. Well, there is one thing. A pocket watch. My pops always carried it on him. If you find it, you'll know it's him. It's engraved and has a photo of us inside, so it should be easy to know it's the right one. What are you trying to know? Okay. Well... Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll give you whatever I can spare.
How's it going? You have a chance to make it to Monaga Mine yet? With all those horrible nukes dropping and destroying everything, you'd think one would land near Monaga Mine. I bet a powerful blast like that would knock the rubble out of the way so you could get inside. Good luck. What's happening? I heard Sunny got a new shipment in. Oh, I gotta go check it out. How's it going? Target acquired. People call you a hoarder. Me, I understand. You will have the last laugh when caps are finally replaced by turn books. Attention citizens, a nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation.
hard day of killing and looting. Don't want to haul it back yourself? Sell it here. Stop up here before your next kill. Please don't stab other customers while they shop. It's dangerous to go alone. It's dangerous to go in groups. It's just dangerous out there, so stock up.
Stay back! You with those things? Huh? Answer me! He did? Never seen you before. You one of the locals? You got a hell of a welcoming party here, you know that? They hit us out of nowhere. Screams, gunshots, the sound of Kip getting his head caved in? God, I don't know how long I've been here. I guess. I was just hoping it was all a nightmare, you know? Thanks. I, am. Um, yeah. I just needed to see a friendly face. I thought I'd be trapped here for the long haul. I don't have much to repay you. <laughs> well, I don't have anything at all, but if there's anything you need, just let me know. Those things are caused by infection? If that's the case, Paige needs to know as soon as possible. Any disease that can claim a human mind and turn us against ourselves is a major threat. How is it spread? And what's the incubation period? The symptoms? Is there a treatment? Thank God for that. If there's an inoculation, we need to get that to Foundation yesterday. This disease of yours is no joke. Thanks again. I'll be damn sure to avoid those things on my way back. I'll uh, meet you there. Just need to rest.
infestation of the season. Burn him! 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 Welcome to Foundation. Keep your weapons holstered and treat everyone like they were your best friend. Foundation. The new home for settlers that want to live free and safe in the wasteland. We're a little short on housing right now, but you're welcome to join the community. Technically nobody, but we all listen to whatever Paige says. He keeps us on task. There's a lot to do here. Paige is inside, but he's a busy guy. So if you're looking to help, you might want to see Ward first. Lovely Great weather, isn't it? Just out there, waiting. I've got my... Finally, someone with the guts to help. We just discovered that one of our turret control circuit boards is missing. And by missing, I mean stolen. If you can get it back, we'd be very grateful. Grateful enough to pay you. Excellent. Fortunately, we put tracking transmitters into the really sensitive stuff like that. I can show you roughly where it is, but you'll have to wait until you're closer to get an exact fix on it. The quicker you recover on missing equipment, the better. Sunnies provides meager sustenance for a meager price. Those raiders are just out there. Waiting. Yins or use or go. I can't keep up. What did Aubrey have to say about this disease you keep talking about?
Damn it. Uh, looks like I'll be paying a few families a visit soon. All right. If Aubrey's behind you, so am I. I'll get the details from him when he gets back. If you need to resupply, you should give Sonny a visit. Hell, after that ordeal, if you see a free bed in the boarding house, rest up. For now, you just hold up your end of the deal and get us that inoculation.